Good morning and welcome to another edition of Health Connection Radio. I'm your host, Jay Foster. We are here with you on um, our podcasts that we are doing now on a weekly basis. And we will have these up on our website shortly. Uh, but you can also call us for copies of the podcast. This is National Nutrition Month. So I'm focusing on vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and uh, uh, that kind of a thing. We did an introduction about the importance of dietary protein and fats on the last show. Today we're going to talk about the uh, vitamins that are real important. I won't get every single one, but uh, some real important ones, and especially ones that act as antioxidants. So let's start. Let, uh, first of all, um, there are certain B vitamins like folic acid and B12 that help to control homocysteine. If you have high homocysteine in your blood test, which is one that you have to ask for, if it's over 8, then you want it to reduce it. And high-dose folic acid and B12 will help to bring it down to normal. And just a comment on the B vitamins, they're very important for energy. Um, the reason that uh, urine turns yellow after you start taking a multivitamin or a, a B complex is because of the vitamin B2, the riboflavin. Um, that uh, flavin um, part of the molecule fluoresces and turns the urine yellow. So it's good to have yellow pee, basically. It shows that not only um, is it, um, it's, it's good because it shows that you're absorbing the uh, B vitamins, not just the B2, and uh, the, any excess is coming out in the urine. It doesn't mean you have expensive urine, which is what doctors used to say. It just means you're really absorbing it very nicely. So more information on our programs at Body Chemistry Associates, our 42nd year in South Florida, doing this work in human nutritional biochemistry and applied clinical nutrition. Rather than just saying, take this vitamin or that vitamin, we do tests to find out which ones you need. And we've been doing it for 42 years in South Florida. Our number locally is 305-670-6702. Toll free 1-800-CHEMIST. 1-800-243-6478. And our website will be back up running uh, very shortly. And our podcast will be up there. If you want copies of any of our podcasts, especially those in National Nutrition Month, just call us again, 305-670-6702 or 1-800-CHEMIST, 1-800-243-6478. Okay, beyond the B vitamins, let's talk about vitamin C. My, one of my favorite things to talk about. Vitamin C is incredibly important for many different reasons. Uh, first of all, we don't make it. Uh, most animals on the planet make their own vitamin C. And under stress, they make a whole bunch more. Like a goat, a happy goat, sitting under a tree thinking happy goat thoughts, <laughs> makes 33 times more... <laughs> then we're told to take by our government of vitamin C. They make it. And if you stress that goat out, I'm not sure how they do it, but I think they either chase it around or tell it scary goat stories or something. When they put a goat under stress, it goes over, instead of 33 times the amount that we're told to take, it goes over 200 times that amount, 200 times more vitamin C production when an animal is under stress. And every animal that makes their own vitamin C, we're one of five species on the planet that does not, every animal that does makes a whole lot more under chemical, emotional, or physical stress. So vitamin C is extremely important. Um, every one molecule of adrenaline you make uses up one molecule of vitamin C. So when you're under more stress, you need to take more uh, vitamin C. And let's talk about the vitamin C deficiency syndrome called scurvy. And there's a very good book a friend of mine got me years ago called Scurvy, How a Surgeon, a Mariner, and a Gentleman Solved the Greatest Medical Mystery of the Age of Sail. Now, you, you got to realize this was 
an incredible discovery because they didn't know what scurvy was. Um, they thought it was an infection. They thought it was this. They thought it was that. When they finally came up and found that it was uh, due to a vitamin C deficiency, um, first of all, on all the British ships, they put limes and, and citrus, and that's why British sailors are often referred to as limeys. But listen to this. The annual register for 1763 tabulated the casualty list for British sailors in the Seven Year War with France. Now listen, to, I'm going to round up just a, a few points. Out of 100, 184,899, so out of 185,000 men raised or rounded up for war, 134,000 died from scurvy. So only 1,512 were killed in action. Can you imagine that? So out of 180, what did I say? 185,000 men raised or rounded up for the war, 134,000 died from scurvy. And scurvy is no good way to die. I mean, you bleed to death and your breath is foul and you bleeding gums and everything like that. But most of that was from scurvy, while only 1,500 were killed in action. Can you imagine what that did and why Britain raised, uh, ruled the seas after that, after they finally found out what was causing it, and they put a few limes on board instead of trying all these other things, and they uh, were allowed by that way to um, survive and be healthy and uh, rule the seas, and that changed the face of the world with vitamin C. Now, vitamin C is is also very important as an antioxidant, and it's very important in protecting your body from free radical oxidation, and that can affect the neurotransmitters as well. This is out of a, not a fly-by-night uh, health food store journal. This is Archives of Neurology. Okay? Archives of Neurology. Most neurologists should read these if they hadn't. Archives of Neurology in 2004. Reduced risk of Alzheimer's disease in users of antioxidant vitamin supplements. And the conclusions say the use of vitamin E and vitamin C supplements in combination is associated with reduced prevalence and incidence of Alzheimer's disease. Antioxidant supplements merit further study as agents for the primary prevention of Alzheimer's disease. And they didn't use crazy doses, I'm telling you. 500 milligrams of vitamin C and 400 IUs of vitamin E gave the users a 78% reduced risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Do you think that's significant? 78% with a few crummy vitamins? It was incredible. Very much incredible. So vitamin C and vitamin E together helps to protect the neurons from oxidative stress. And that may be the biggest factor in things like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. It also helps support the heart. Um, any kind of an antioxidant uh, reaction uh, will help, uh, you know, by taking care of that, that's going to help the heart and um, the whole system. <laughs> Your aging uh, will be helped by that. So I'm big on vitamin C. I recommend it highly. Uh, we have a very good uh, uh, formula. It's a buffered vitamin C, which means nothing. It's ascorbate vitamin C which is buffered, but if it says buffered, you have to look at the back and make sure that they um, didn't just throw a bunch of ascorbic acid and some minerals in there. Like, I'm pretty sure Life Extension has a formula that says it's buffered, but it really isn't. And they know better if if that's them. So I, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, or if they've maybe they've updated it or something, but it's very important to know that it says ascorbate ends in A-T-E instead of ascorbic acid. And the ascorbate is the way that uh, vitamin C is absorbed uh, very well 
and doesn't cause uh, a lot of the reactions if you take high dose of regular uh, vitamin C. So vitamin C, very important for the brain and central nervous system and for the heart. Let me see if I have this one paper here. Um, I didn't think I have it here. No, that was... Oh, I see. That was the CoQ10. Uh, coenzyme Q10 is a very important uh, vitamin-like compound that uh, works in the system. It protects the heart and the brain um, from oxidative stress. And if you're taking a statin drug like rosuvastatin or atorvastatin, Lipitor, um, Crestor, those deplete CoQ10 on purpose because those drugs, and you could quiz your doctor this, <laughs> probably won't know the answer. That'll, that'll upset them. But uh, these drugs, the statin drugs, are HMG coenzyme A reductase inhibitors. That enzyme, HMG coenzyme A reductase, is a cardinal step in the production of cholesterol. Turns out it's also a cardinal step in the production of CoQ10. So when you are taking a statin drug, you have to take uh, CoQ10 with it. Whether your doctor recommends it or not, I don't care. It is beyond uh, question. There are hundreds of articles that say that you should be doing this. It's just that the doctors are not taught this. It's not that it's bad or whatever, or that there's not enough uh, literature. For instance, back in the archives of neurology, atorvastatin, which is Lipitor, decreases the CoQ10 level in the blood of patients at risk for cardiovascular disease and stroke. Conclusions. Even brief, and this was in Archives of Neurology in 2004. The conclusions. Even brief exposure to a torvastatin, Lipitor, causes a marked decrease in blood CoQ10 concentration. That same enzyme, HMG coenzyme A reductase, that produces cholesterol, also produces CoQ10. Widespread inhibition of CoQ10 synthesis could explain the most commonly reported adverse effects of statins, especially exercise intolerance, myalgia, which is muscle pain, and myoglobinuria, which is finding muscle protein in the urine, and that's from a condition called rhabdomyolysis, which can kill you. Also, liver damage, memory problems, congestive heart failure, all can come from the statin. So we're not saying don't take a statin. I'm not a medical doctor. I couldn't tell you that if I wanted to. Um, but if you're taking a statin, there's no downside to taking a good CoQ10. We have a very good formula of CoQ10. And uh, if you're interested, you can call us at 305-670-6702 or 1-800-CHEMIST, 1-800-243-6478. So vitamin C, very important for the brain and central nervous system, very important for the heart, very important for collagen formation in the body. Um, if you have bleeding gums, try 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C a couple times a day of the, of the good ascorbate form, and you'll see that go away. I'm going to be doing some podcasts for Dennis. Uh, to tell them that because they may not know. Very important for the bones, very important for cartilage, very important for the heart, very important for the brain. And I believe it, the data shows that it helps to prevent uh, conditions like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's along with vitamin E. So if you'd like some more information on our programs at Body Chemistry Associates, this is our 42nd year in South Florida doing this work in human nutritional biochemistry and applied clinical nutrition during National Nutrition Month of March. Uh, they're offering uh, $100 off the new programs for people coming in for the first time and 10% off all other follow-up testing and supplements until the end of March. 1-800-CHEMIST is the number to call. 1-800-243-6478 and you can also call our local number 305-670-6702.
This is Jay Foster on Health Connection Radio saying thanks for tuning in today. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. We'll be with you again on the next show.